Thank you, Beecham. If we can have some privacy. Yes, sir. Still riding the Bonneville. Sold the 67 for a pipe burn. Beautiful bike. You should take me for a spin sometime. <laughs> I don't think so. They're a death wish. At least you know you have a place in heaven. <laughs> What's on your mind, Mr. President? The burial the other day. You talked about Abraham and Isaac, God, giving up his only son. Between you and me, that's the same sermon I always use at Arlington. You put enough soldiers in the ground, you get tired of writing new ones. It was the first time I'd heard it. Won't be the last. I want to understand what justice is. <laughs> that's a big one. I know. There's our justice, the kind men create. We base it on things like the Ten Commandments. But those can be read a million different ways. Thou shalt not kill seems pretty clear. Who's to say? If we didn't kill, others would kill instead of us. There's a lot of killing in the Bible. King David was a warrior. How do you reconcile that with the laws that God gave Moses? Even those laws require interpretation. There are two laws we have to remember above all else. He tells us to love God and to love each other. You can't love the people you kill. You sure as hell can. And you have to love the people who are trying to kill you. Jesus loved the Romans. Father, forgive them, he said, for they know not what they do. Why didn't he fight? Why did he allow himself to be sacrificed? I ask myself that question a lot. I understand the Old Testament God, whose power is absolute, who rules through fear, but him. There's no such thing as absolute power for us except on the receiving end. Using fear will get you nowhere. It's not your job to determine what's just. It's not your place to choose the version of God you like best. It's not your duty to serve this country alone, and it better not be your goal to simply serve yourself. You serve the Lord, and through him you serve others. Two rules. Love God, love each other, period. You weren't chosen, Mr. President. Only he's...